Today we're back with another episode of The Swing Report, looking at the Mizuno T22 wedges. These things look and feel incredible. We'll tell you everything you need to know. We'll do some testing, and Thomas will give his feedback. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you do that, and also like this video, and then drop a comment as well and give us your take on the T22 wedges. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. We're outside today on the short game area with some new wedges from Mizuno, the T22 model. Um, and this is the, I mean, Mizuno, known for their kind of forged irons, right? Uh, so it's no surprise as they kind of uh, bring that same, uh, you know, the same feel, the same performance to the wedges. And the T22 wedges, they're built very similar to those forged irons. Uh, some of those finishes though, with the especially that denim copper one are really eye-catching so I'm very intrigued by these iron or these wedges excuse me yeah I gravitated to want to grab that denim copper right out of the bag right yeah. away although this looks sick this is really cool um, but yeah the, they talk about the feel they still got the grain flow forged 1025 it's gonna feel just like a Mizuno iron should mm -hmm. feel uh, you feel incredibly soft off the off the yeah. face so it's gonna feel great and responsive there uh, but we've also got some grinds now with, with Mizuno. Mizuno yeah. in the past have really kind of just they've changed up the bounce options, but now we've actually got four different grinds that we're yeah. talking about. And a very key component, as we know, of wedge fitting is picking the right grind for your swing, your tendencies, the, the way you use wedges around the green. So we'll make sure to touch on all those grinds. But get, I just want to get into some of the tech first because, um, I mean, wedge technology is interesting where these clubs are mostly like, especially these ones, grain flow forge is kind of milled and forged from a, a pure block really of carbon steel but then they uh, throw in some different technology some different layers as well like that copper under layer that we kind of saw with some of the i think it was the mp20 irons had that in there um, they've got that also on these wedges you talked about the the forging process green flow forging process super soft feel and performance um, also the shape modified teardrop shape they're calling it just a, a little bit more compact profile and very beveled at the top um, so it's going to be kind of a, almost a little bit more, it's going to give you consistency, but also like some shot making ability there too. Um, yeah, then, that, uh, that shape's been inspired by tour professionals. Yeah. I know they've worked closely with like Luke Donald, for example, one of their staffers for a long time yep. to really get opinions on what a wedge should look like for those better players. And this is definitely designed to a little bit sleeker, a lot squarer profile for all the wedges. Mm -hmm. And these grooves are uh, going to generate that spin very precise as well. Um, and they're going to perform in weather. So they're the hydro flow micro grooves. They're quad cut and milled. Um, so that's going to be, they're going to be sharp. They're going to be consistent. They're going to last long and they're going to perform wet, dry, whatever the conditions are. Um, they'll be there. And then, of course, the three finishes. So we talked about denim copper, which is kind of the, the unique one that jumps out at you. Yep. Then you've got the satin chrome and then you've got that raw finish as well. Uh, so three different finishes are available with the T22 wedges. So um, now getting into some of those grinds. You said four grinds. Yep. You've got the S, the D, the C, and the X. So what can we uh, take away from those four grinds here? Yeah, so starting off with the S grind, it's more like a square face design, standard, yeah. standard bounce, um, where it's designed for the player that really doesn't manipulate the club face too much. It's just for a nice full swing, essentially. Mm -hmm. Imagine you're hitting a wedge shot that's going to be a full swing. Yeah. So that's what the S grind is for. So we also have the D grind. So D grind has got a little bit of heel and toe relief. It's kind of designed for a, a wide range of golfers looking for versatility depending on different types of golf courses mm -hmm. that they're playing on. Yeah. So that's the, that's the D grind. We also got the C grind. The C grind's going to have a little bit more heel and toe relief designed a little bit more for those players that maybe play in a little firmer conditions yeah uh, and like to maybe open and close the face just a little little bit yeah. more just a little bit more versatility to the C grind and then we've got the X grind X grind is for those extremely good wedge players yeah so those players that really like to get expect every single possible shot out of their wedges mm -hmm. so the X grind's got a lot of toe and heel relief which allows you to open and close the club face and hit yeah. basically any golf shot they want to hit yeah I mean if you're if you're one of those um, you know, players that really you're opening that face up almost any chance you can. You're, you find yourself flopping and trying to get really precise with your wedges um, and land the ball in a specific area. You know, you might gravitate towards that X grind, but I will say it does take some skill to pull those shots off, and that's why the wedge is built that way. But we got the four grinds now, and now we kind of want to see the performance here, Thomas. So we've got a, a few different shots we're going to hit here today pitch shot, chip shot, bunker shots, and um, I'm curious to see what your feedback is as someone who's a pretty darn good wedge player. Well, let's hit some wedge shots. All 
All right, so Thomas will start with the kind of a, we got a 70 yard pitch shot here going to that back flag. Um, on these shots now, what, you know, what are you looking for out of the wedge? Like when you're hitting the shot, um, I know you want probably consistency, someone like you especially, but what um, in particular you're looking for, to get, what do you want to get out of the wedge? Yeah, you mentioned consistency there, yeah, that's really important. I want it to feel like the, the ball have got control on that golf ball. Yeah. So for me, I want to hit a shot where maybe one, two hops and it kind of stops. Okay. So we've got ourselves set up here about 70 yards here. Mm -hmm. We've got a 58 degree wedge. I'm going to you know, try and hit a shot here that lands just a little bit short of the flag. Hopefully it gets up there and, and stops for us. Okay. Got to hit it harder. One thing too is you're probably not used to playing grooves that are like this new. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm not used to a, a sleeker looking wedge either. This, these, yeah. are pretty, these are pretty small. These are pretty, pretty good looking wedges. Yeah, just can't get it there. A lot of action on the, on yeah, the ball there. It's got a lot of grab to it. Let's see if I can get one I can get the ball to fly just a little bit further back there. This is a good pin location. This is right in the very back of the green. One, yep. and yep. Nice. And it's a very pop nice. And stop. Just need to get a little bit more speed to it. Yeah, going kind of into the wind here a little bit too. Yeah. How's that feel right now? You've hit three soft. shots here. It's pretty soft. <laughs> soft. Yeah, it feels very soft, very responsive off the face. Get back there. Oh yeah. Just gotta fly it a little further. But yeah, they, they definitely want to grab. Got some uh, nice clean grooves here. New clean grooves, can't yeah. go wrong with that. That'll generate some spin. Now, based on what I've seen so far, that's a good shot too. Um, you kind of like to, on these shots, flight it a little bit lower. Right. Um, yeah. You don't kind of like to take it upstairs. It's more of a, f especially when you have this green to work with. So how do you feel the club is doing in terms of controlling and making sure the ball stays kind of low and you're not, you know, it's not shooting up on you or anything like that. Yeah, I think it being a slightly smaller profile as well, I think the CG is it's not going to be pushed way back on a wedge. Yeah, yeah. You know, with a, it's gonna be a good wedge up, player. It's almost higher, right? Right. Because that'll keep it low. You, you want to flight the ball. So we got a little bit of a breeze into and off the left here. Yep. If I get this thing up in the air, the wind could really affect it and I'll mm -hmm. get some inconsistency. So I'm trying to judge the trajectory so the ball bounces, like flies low, and then it's going to stop yep. and kind of releases by mm -hmm. the hole. But the turf interaction is, is important too, and it feels really good through the through the grass. So this is the C grind, and we got a little bit of that's kind of soft here. It's not bone dry. Ooh, yeah, that one bit a little bit. Yeah, just can't get it to the hole. <laughs> All right, let's do one more. I got I got at least get this to the flag. Not used to these grooves. Well, just and part stopping. of this is <laughs> you got. The pin is, you know, five feet behind the pin is right. the fringe. So it's literally. You're trying to play it below the hole a little bit. That might be pretty close. Yeah. Oh, just grabbed. <laughs> I mean, look at, you got a bunch of uphill birdie putts that are very makeable. I, I do. I would just like to fly just a little <laughs> bit further, but that's me being picky. Oh, it is. Yeah. But yeah, flight's really, really well. Nice low trajectory and spins. Mm -hmm. So that's what you want out of a wedge. Absolutely. It's Thomas in the bunker now. Greenside bunkers. Um, on these shots, this isn't a very long bunker shot per se, but what do you, you know, you're trying to get out of the wedge? Like, what do you need the wedge to do for you to hit a good bunker shot here? Ideally, I want it to kind of pop up, land, and maybe roll just a little bit out, but I want this to stop pretty quickly for me. Uh, I want, once again, good turf interaction. Mm -hmm. I'm all about that turf interaction. We've switched now to the X grind. So this is the, the one that allows you to open and close that club face up yeah. a lot. It's kind of for those shot makers. And when I'm in the sand, I like to open and close the club face. Well, yeah. Actually, I like to open the face a lot more than I like to close yeah, the club yeah. face. But yeah, so I'm making sure that I have some bounce on that wedge and just kind of using the bounce to be my friend to help get the ball up in the air. And yeah, kind of just making sure you kind of thud that sand and right. then from there lofting into the air. So Yep. All right, well, I'll be, I'll, I'm curious to see how this performs here for you. Let's test it out of the sand here. Pretty good start. That's 
a full away. So just tap in. <laughs> this is kind of what it felt like right there. It was just kind of that thud. Yeah. Through the ball. Very nice. Yep. Just kind of bounce a couple of times and then release by the hole. So how's the, I mean, you know, how's the feel of, I know this, it's a different shot than where you just hit, but um, how's that feel of the wedge out of the bunker here, uh, maybe compared to other wedges out there? I mean, it still feels soft. I mean, I play a wedge that's got a little higher toe on it. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm still adjusting to getting used okay, to just sure. a smaller profile here. But even with it being a smaller profile, having the heel and toe relief, and you can kind of see it right here if yeah, you look yeah, at sure. the bottom, how well that I've used that heel and toe relief by opening the face, where you know, the bounce is your friend essentially, yeah. and that's just showing right there mm -hmm. how the how the how the bounce is your friend when you're getting through the sand. Ooh, I'll hit the other ball, but a little bit of a top spin here. Let's change up the lie a little bit. Oh yeah, you're landing so soft and then just kind of trickling out towards yeah. the hole there. And this green is only has been punched recently, so I'm not going to get the true reaction. Oh, it's going to be perfectly. It's going to yeah. spin every single time. But uh, this is, it just seems so easy out of the sand with this club. There we go. I got one to nip. Yeah. Yeah, but even still, it's. You care. I mean, you kind of got it a little bit thin, but then you what? You yeah. have. You didn't keep rolling on you like it like it may right. have with another club. And I was that last shot I was trying to just fly just a little bit further and get to stop, but Oh yeah. There we go. That's the <laughs> shot that I was looking for. That's nice. That's yeah. a good one. So my, my confidence is building more and more as I'm getting used to this. Yeah, because I know you, you're used to a, a different more shape out of the bunker with a shape yep. of clubs, so that's a little different. But you're hitting some really good ones. You got a lot of tap ins there. So Yeah. But yeah, the I, I love this view here. This is this is pretty cool looking at the, at the bottom. Oh of this. yeah, and you can see the how the, the the heel and toe relief actually are working for you. Right. Yeah. It's impressive. It's an impressive wedge. Okay, Thomas, short like kind of a chip and run type shot here a little bit. Um, you know, another one that's uh, it's its own distinct shot. So, what do you need out of a wedge for this one? Yeah. So. I mean, options are always nice. So whether you like to open the face or keep the face square. So I still like to have a little bit of heel and toe relief with this particular shot, because uh, I could play this shot two different ways. I could land this right on the front and release it out, or I could fly it like halfway on the green and have it check up and, and stop there too. So okay. options is what we want. We want to have different bounce and grind options, and that's what we get. Yeah. Oh yeah. Out of it. And that's what one thing that's really important too is you don't want to all of a sudden just have all three clubs, all wedges to be the same grind or the right. same bounce. Right. Right. You want versatility in your bag. For sure, for that's sure. And I'm that's actually what will happen in most wedge fittings at second swing is very rarely, if ever, are fitters uh, recommending to golfers to have the same wedge grind or the same bounce for right. every wedge. Because in most cases, people use their wedges differently each, you know, for, you know, for example, 50 degree, 54 degree, 58 degree, or whatever your loft combination might be. Yeah. Especially if you play different golf courses all the time. That too, too. yes. Yeah. All right. Ah, oh, that stupid hole. Hmm. <laughs> a little bit of a check to it. Just roll that yep. a little bit more. You are. I know. I know the type of player you are too. You're trying to make this shot. I am. Yeah. You're trying to make this. I'm also trying to make this the shot where I'm just flying it just a little bit further and having grab a little bit. Yeah. Just to kind of show how the, how this wedge will react on the green. That's probably not far away. Grab oh, on me. That, there's that sharp break to the left in front of the hole there. Right. That's Come pretty on. good. Get there. Ooh. Ugh. See, I feel like that one wasn't as clean of a strike just right. by looking at it. And that just released out there just a little bit nicer yeah. for me. And that worked out for you. The one I didn't quite catch perfect is the one that's the closest. <laughs> Which, hey, I mean, that a little bit of forgiveness packed into these wedges. Yep. 
Come on, release, release. Kind of sent that one in a little bit lower. Yep. Yeah, I'm getting used to using the uh, the 60 here. As I mentioned, normally I'd probably use like a 54. Yeah. And, and land it just a little bit shorter and have it kind of really release up there. But I wanted to show how this thing's going to grab on the green for those golfers that like to chip mm -hmm. and carry the ball a little further. Yeah, that does grab. It yep. just kind of trickles out towards the hole. Yeah. They feel good. I mean, they feel good around the green, form well, even short. You, just a little you, bit you feel like you can too. hit kind of all the shots you need to hit. Right. Yeah. And I, I would feel comfortable with this grind here to be able to open the face up and not worry about getting that, that leading edge too, too much. Too high. Yeah. Yeah. So especially this X grind here, I, uh, I would feel really comfortable to be able to open this thing up and, mm -hmm. and hit a super flop shot if I, if I needed to with the, the extreme heel and totally thumb getting. Yeah, for sure. So that's, yep. I mean, that's one of the four options, of course, but that's another, that's the great thing about this too. You got all kinds of shots you can hit, but then, you know, depending on the player, right? You have all the grind options. You have a ton of loft options. So um, Mizuno has kind of gone the extra mile like this year, I think with the T22 wedges offering so many different options because, you know, they're recognizing that there's so many different golfers and so many different ways to use their wedges. Yeah, they feel and look really good. So they're, uh, they're definitely in the contention there for in the wedge market. Thomas, testing complete. Mizuno T22 wedges, um, variety of different shots here. We went, started with the 70 yard pitch shot, um, then hit bunker shots, then went kind of to a shorter chip shot. So you've kind of got a, a nice little uh, array of, of feedback here. So T22 wedges, um, big takeaway. Well, first off, I really like how the denim copper wedge looks. Mm -hmm. And even after hitting some shots in the sand, I love how the uh, finish on it now with that little yeah, bit of rustic look to it. It's very unique and it's eye-catching, but it, it looks so cool. Yeah, it's, it's a good-looking wedge. And uh, I think a lot of people that like cool-looking wedges will definitely gravitate mm -hmm. towards these. Uh, second thing is definitely a little bit sleeker wedge that I'm kind of used yeah. to playing. Um, it's inspired by the tour players. Yep. So it's got some very clean edges with it. Um, so it's a little bit sleeker, but it still has forgiveness and it still has those bounce and grind options to yep. help. There's more bounce and grind options even now with, the, with these wedges than Mizuno's in the past to help fit the type of player that they, they need out of their wedge game. Right, so let's get into those, those grind options. I think that's gonna be kind of the, you know, we always try to answer that question, you know, who's it for, I think. You really got to go dive a little bit deeper with wedges and figure out the grind options. So yep. um, we've got S, we've got D, we've got C, and we've got X. So yep. try to go through each of those and explain, you know, the golfer that'll fit in each one of them. Well, I always think of S. S is easy to remember. So S is standard bounce or standard grind or square face. Yeah. So I suppose golfers that like to have that face square at impact. The way they chip, they probably have that, that club kind of sitting nice and square for them mm -hmm. for all shots around yeah. the green. So they don't really manipulate the face too much. Then we work our way up. Then we've got the D grind. So mm -hmm. the D grind's got a little bit more heel and toe relief. So it gives those players of all abilities the ability to be able to open and close the club face. Yeah. And then we gravitate towards those players that play in maybe a little firmer condition. We've got the C grind. Yeah. C grind, a little bit more heel and toe relief yet, but it's designed with a little bit less bounce on it to really help those players that play out of firm sand, play of firm yeah. conditions around, around the green. And then uh, the X grind. The X grind is, it's really, it's kind of like tour, tour level caliper, really. Yeah. The players that expect everything possible they can do out of their wedge game. They've got an excellent good wedge game. They can do anything one around the green with them. Yep, and that's gonna, I mean, there's I think maximum, you know, heel toe, trailing edge relief on that grind, so. I mean, you can open it up all the way. You can close it a little bit. You can do whatever you need to do yep. with that X grind. But uh, the four key grinds there, that's important. And of course, we talked about the tech. We talked about the grain flow forging process, the micro grooves uh, with the hydro flow design. So it's going to perform well in any conditions. So, I mean, these wedges, they, they look awesome, but they're going to be nice performers for a wide range of players because we've talked about how the, the grinds, they kind of serve a, a, you know, basically every demographic out right. there. So. Really good stuff from Azuna with the T22 wedges. And I think, like you said before, they're gonna really compete nicely um, in the, the market for wedges here at the end of 2021 into 2022. Um, and I, I really do think this denim copper finish is gonna catch a lot of eyeballs and people are gonna gravitate towards them, like you said. I, I'm, I'm really thinking about it for next year. Yeah, for sure. it's kind of some sneaky marketing right there. <laughs> it <Yeah>. is, it <laughs> is. But golfers interested, 
Uh, stop into a second swing store, visit secondswing.com, schedule your wedge fitting with one of our wedge fitting experts and we'll get you dialed in, get that short game improved and help you shoot lower scores with the T22 wedges. Thomas, thank you for joining today. Uh, shoot, hit, uh, hitting the shots for us, providing the feedback. Um, great stuff here. And I think uh, I'm really excited about these ones. Yep, great stuff and great wedges. Thank you.